cut in from work and I was eating dinner and I'm like, I haven't done a video in so, so long. And I'm just like, why haven't I done one? I've just been busy, you know, going out with friends and just spending the summer relaxing so far. So it's been really nice, along with studying for the LSATs, that's been... Oh, that's been a struggle, let me just tell you, but um, I take them in a few weeks and hopefully I do well on them. Anyway, so I thought that I would do um, a question and answer part three for you guys and answer some more of the questions that you all asked me like a month ago. I know it's been forever and I've been slacking off and I'm really, really sorry and I hope that you guys forgive me. So, okay, the first question is, if you had to completely change your hairstyle, what would you change it to? Um, I don't know. I always wanted to do something like drastic with my hair, whether it be, you know, go like blonde or cut it really short, but I just don't think go with one, my skin tone, and two, it wouldn't really go with, um, like my face shape. I don't know. Short hair, I did it once about shoulder length and it just did not look good on me at all. I was like devastated until it grew out. But um, I don't know. I've always wanted to try something like absolutely daring and just like cut it all off, but I know that I never will. Um, next question. Do you want kids and if you do, how many and what would you name them? Right now, I know, I know like right now I don't want kids. No way. But um, when I get married, I'll probably want like two or three, preferably if it's two then a boy and a girl you know just to even things out and I don't know what I would name them that's kind of a that's a good question I don't know what I would name them um do you find yourself looking forward to what the future has in store for you yes I do I'm like nervous about the future as most people probably are just because I mean it's the unknown how are you supposed to you know really prepare yourself for what you don't know is going to happen that came out really weird but um, it's exciting too I mean you get to experience new things and um, you know I'm finishing up my last year of my undergrad degree and then I'm gonna go off to law school hopefully fingers crossed Lord help me but um, you know and that's exciting you know to kind of see what your future holds so yes I am looking forward to the future um, how did you grow your hair so long that's just kind of, it just kind of happened. I don't really know. I don't really do anything special to it. I did a whole hair care video um, for you guys that you can go and check that out if you have like specific questions on products that I use and stuff. But I really don't do anything special. Um, I try not to use a lot of heat on it as much as I can. But I mean, sometimes like today I curled it and obviously that's like a lot of heat on your hair and it's really bad. But I mean, it looks pretty, I think. So, you know, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices to look pretty. Um, anyway, what? Would you rather have a pet kangaroo that you had to take everywhere for a week or burp everyone you said a word with an E? Oh, every time you said a word with an E. Um, oh my gosh. I would probably have to say a kangaroo. Sorry if I'm like looking down. I was just reading the question. I'm filming on my laptop, like I said. But um, I would probably say, gosh, that's a weird question. Um, a pet kangaroo. I'd take a pet kangaroo around for a week. And does that mean that I get to go and um, stay in Australia? That'd be nice. I'd love to go to Australia. Um, what's your advice for a girl who's attending an all-girls college? Um, that's, I mean, I don't have any experience on this at all. I guess the best advice would be, um, you know, make friends, obviously, with, you know, the girls and stuff. And then maybe they know um, people, guys, um, who are like friends with them and stuff and then you can meet guys that way if that's kind of what you're thinking about like how you're gonna date in college or something um, just I don't know maybe like go out a lot like restaurants and um, I don't know if they have like bars if you're old enough or something I don't I don't know that's hard that's really really hard I guess just make a good core group of friends first and then try to expand it together um, into meeting guys um, who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? Um, some of my favorites, I mean, obviously Ellen Blair, I've been watching them since the beginning, and, um, who else do I watch? I watch Shane Dawson, and, like, Jack and Finn Harry's, um, Jack Scap, and, like, their whole crew of friends, and I like, um, Landon Austin and Alex Scoot for music. They're two of my favorites. They're really, really good. Um, I love their original songs. Their voices are seriously, like, a gift from the heavens. They're so, so talented. I wish that I could sing. That would be like one of the things um, that I would love to have. A talent that I would love to have is to be able to sing like, well, obviously I can sing, but you know, nobody wants to hear it because I'm not very good. Okay, what are three of your favorite books? 
this is a hard question because I don't really read that much. A lot of people think that, um, you know, since I like studying and making good grades and stuff that I read a lot, but I really, really don't. Um, I think it's partly because, you know, when you're in school, you have to read a book and you have to, like, you know, the teacher's making you read it and you have to summarize the chapters and find out, like, all these literary elements and, like, all these symbols and what all this stuff means that the author's trying to say. And it, it really ruins the book for me. But um, some of my favorites throughout school are Where the Red Fern Grows. Um, it's a story that's like, it made me cry at the end. It's the only book that has ever made me cry. And it was really, really good. That's probably one of my first favorites. And then um, I liked Great Gatsby. And I kind of forgot about it until the movie just came out. But um, I read it in 11th grade, I believe, for my English class. And I did. I really, really liked it. It was really cool, you know, interesting story. And my third favorite book probably would have to be... I loved the Shell Silver scene. I think that's how you say his name. Don't hold me to it. Um, poem books. And he had these cool, weird little drawings in all of them um, that went along with the poems. I really, really like them. I still love them. Um, you know, going back and reading through them. I would try and draw the um, pictures that he had in there because, you know, I thought I was like an artist or something, but I'm not. Oh well. Um, let's see. Have you ever been to Europe? No, I haven't, and I want to go. If any of you all want to um, send me to Europe, that would be fabulous. I, that's one of my dreams is to go, um, you know, maybe spend a summer or something in Europe and just travel all over. I really want to go on a cruise around the Mediterranean, probably for like my honeymoon or something. I think that would be really, really fun. Okay, what is your favorite color? My favorite color, I don't know. I go back and forth. I really like blue. Blue has always been like a solid color that I've always liked um, just because I feel like it, I don't know. I just, I like blue. I haven't been a huge pink fan um, growing up. I was a bit of a tomboy so blue was kind of my color but I've kind of come into pink. It, you know, it's not like it's a terrible color at all but blue is definitely my favorite color. Um, what was your favorite grade during middle school, high school, and why? Um, my favorite grade in middle school, I don't know, I like sixth grade just because, you know, you're finally in middle school and in my school, um, it was, um, pre-K through eighth grade shared one building, it was all one school, so once you're in sixth grade, it's like you feel like you're older than everybody else, so that was kind of cool, so that was my favorite for middle school and high school, definitely senior year. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of high school. Freshman year, you go in and you're like so nervous. You don't know where anything is. Like everybody seems so much older than you. If you're going into um, high school, don't be nervous about it. Like the more confident, the better. But senior year, you know, you've been to this school for three years. You, you know, you've got friends. You've figured out the whole, you know, classroom and school situation and you're not going to get lost because my school was humongous. Um, so, and you're like looking forward to college and going on to the next step and you have, you know, fun and like prom and I don't know, like football games and all this stuff that are so much fun your senior year because like you cherish them more because you know that you're not going to be there next year. So, okay. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I've kind of answered this. I would love to go on a cruise around the Mediterranean. What are you going to do after college? Well, after I finish my undergrad, I'm going to go to law school, like I said, and then hopefully get a job in a law firm. That would be the best outcome that I could think of. Um, would you rather babysit an ostrich or a turtle? Probably a turtle because a turtle, you can just kind of stick it in a box if you like had to. In ostrich you'd have to like have a huge like farm fenced in thing um, to watch after it. Okay, what's the most recent movie that you've seen? The most recent movie I've seen, I actually watched it last night with my brother. It was, um, oh gosh, what was the name of it? Playing for Keeps with Jessica Biel and Gerard Butler. He's a retired soccer player and um, he is, I don't really know how to explain it, he's like coaches his son's team and is trying to get back with his ex-wife and all these different things, um, but it's just like your basic love story with a typical ending. Um, I'd love to watch a movie that didn't have a typical ending, but um, I don't think they really make those anymore. Um, if you could know everything about your life and, and how it would turn out in the future, would you choose to know or be surprised? Um... This one's really hard for me. I would probably have to say be surprised, but then 
I worry and I have like bad anxiety half the time so a part of me wants to know just so that I know you know either to get my hopes up and to study and um, you know really concentrate on this certain aspect or should I switch to something else like if the law school thing doesn't work out then should I switch to like I don't know marketing or something like I'd like to know now rather than four years down the road when I have a law degree and I can't get a job or something but I don't know. I guess that's just life though. You just take it as it comes. So I guess I'll just take it as it comes. Um, my favorite eyeshadow. My favorite eyeshadow is by Sephora. It's a brown and cream duo. Um, I'll leave the exact thing in the bottom bar. I'll leave um, the exact name of it. I think it's like 405, but don't hold me to that. I'm probably wrong. It's probably like 607 or something. I don't know. But um, it's been my favorite for a few years now. And another thing that I like for eyeshadow I just use my bronzer. I put like an eye primer on and then my bronzer over top and it's like a natural looking thing. So um, I'll do that a lot and it's really really simple and easy. Just throw it on and you're good to go. Um, okay, what's your hometown like? It's just a small town USA type of thing, you know, in the south. Not a lot to do, not a lot of restaurants and I mean it's kind of, it gets kind of boring but you know you have your friends and stuff and you just hang out, go to the movies, go to the mall, you know, whatever. No, it's not the most glorious mall in the world, but I mean, you make do. Um, when you look at someone, do you look um, at their eyes or at their lips? Okay, I think first I look at their eyes. If they have sunglasses on, obviously you can't do that, so I look at their lips. And teeth are like a huge thing for me. Um, like, nice straight teeth and like dental hygiene and stuff is really like, I don't know, it it it's really hard for me to talk to somebody who like you can tell doesn't take care of their teeth so I would say probably if they if they don't have sunglasses on like I talk to people like in their eyes like I make eye contact so I guess their eyes would be first and then yeah and then I'd look at their teeth not really their lips lips don't really matter but their teeth really really matter to me do you get on Google Earth and if you do, do you like looking at your own house? Okay, I've never been on Google Earth and a couple weeks ago I was over at a friend's house and she was like, have you ever been on Google Earth? And I'm like, no, I haven't. So I looked up my house. Well, first of all, if you put in my address, it doesn't even come up. So I'm like, okay. So I had to like Google somewhere that was close to my house and then zoom in to try and find it. And it's like you couldn't really even see anything. But um, on hers, you could like see like her whole house. And like if somebody was standing in her driveway, you could see like you could have seen them. Um, which was kind of scary and kind of weird. Like somebody could be stalking you at your house. Like I don't know. <sighs> Sorry. Like I don't know how often they take pictures or whatever. But that can be kind of, kind of weird. Um, okay, next. Would you rather have three e three eggs? See, it's it's late, y'all. It's like almost eleven o'clock, but I want to do this. Would you rather have three legs or three arms? I would say that I would rather have three arms, just because then you can hold all of your stuff. I always feel like I don't have enough enough arms. I only have two. Like I need like seventeen to carry, you know, your books and your groceries and I don't know whatever else you have to carry around. Um. So yeah, definitely three arms. Which do you like better, Walmart or Target? Definitely Target. Where I used to live, the Walmart was seriously, I think I think at one point they said it was the busiest one in America, which that's the truth if I ever did hear anything. It was crazy all of the time. So my family just never went in there because it was like the savings that you had was not worth the hassle of trying to maneuver yourself through the store and I really like Target. I love their clothes. They have a cute little clothing brand which I think is really cool. Do you prefer ice cream or frozen yogurt? I love frozen yogurt. Um, I actually really like um, sorbets. Sorbets are my favorite. Raspberry sorbets are so good. Oh my gosh I could go for one right now. They're so good. Um, what character would you like to be in The Vampire Diaries? Um, I think I would like to play Nina Dobrave, um, her part of Elena and Catherine just because they're so polar opposites. You kind of get to be the nice girl, you know, normal, and then you turn into a vampire, but like you're still nice. And then you get to be like um, mean and evil and whatever too, all in the same 
you know, person and character or whatever. So I think that would be cool to do. Okay, last question is going to be, do you have a P.O. Box for fan mail? No, I don't have a P.O. Box. I don't really know much about how to even set up one, to be completely honest. But um, if you guys want me to get one, maybe I will get one once I get um, some more subscribers. Or if you guys wanted to send me something, I don't know. Is that like something you all would want? You can leave that in the comments below if that's something um, in the future you all would want me to get a P.O. box. I don't know. I'll have to look into how that works. I don't really, yeah, I've never, I don't know. Do you have to pay for a P.O. box or do you just kind of say, hey, I want a P.O. box? I don't, I don't know how it works. Maybe I'll try and figure that out for you guys if you want um, to see that. Okay, wow. Hey, so I've been filming for like 20 minutes. I don't know how much I'm going to edit out, but um, a 20 minute video is way, way, way long. So maybe I'll try and edit it down some. Oh my goodness. Um, anyway, so I hope that you guys um, enjoy this video. It's just been a casual thing. Um, I didn't film it on like a special camera or anything, so I hope that the quality comes out well. I really hope so because sometimes whenever I film on this like my voice and my lips don't match up so if it doesn't I don't know if I'm gonna put it up oh that'd be terrible oh, gosh. okay now I'm like tired okay anyway I'm just rambling on now so I will try and put this up tonight which is Thursday which is the 30th but it may go up tomorrow morning I'll try and get it up tonight. I'll edit it right now and try and get it up. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys have a wonderful night if you're watching it tonight and a wonderful day if you're watching it tomorrow. Yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye!